Chelsea's Super Sunday, Palmer shines again as Blues cruise past Villa. Hey there, Chelsea fans. Welcome again to Chelsea's Shed End. What a fantastic Sunday we had at Stamford Bridge, right? Let's dive into how our Blues put on a show against Aston Villa with a convincing 3-0 win. If you missed the match or want to relive every exciting moment, I've got you covered with all the details and player performances. The big story, unbeaten run continues. First things first, can we talk about how Chelsea have now gone five games unbeaten in the Premier League? That's some streak. The team is starting to look like a real dark horse in the title race, and yesterday's performance showed exactly why. Early dominance. Jackson sets the tone. Remember when we were all worried about our attacking prowess? Well, Nicholas Jackson needed just seven minutes to put those fears to rest. The Senegalese striker found the back of the net with a clever finish at Martinez's near post. Big shout-out to Mark Cucurella for that brilliant low cross. That's the kind of service our strikers dream about. But let's be honest. Did anyone else's heart skip a beat when Ollie Watkins broke through on goal? Thank goodness for Robert Sanchez. Our Spanish keeper came up huge with that save, keeping us in front when we needed it most. The Palmer-Enzo connection. Pure magic. Have you noticed how Cole Palmer and Enzo Fernandez are developing quite the partnership? Their link-up play for our second goal was something special. The way they exchanged passes on the edge of the box before Enzo's outside-of-the-foot finish, pure class. It's exactly what we've been wanting to see from our £107 million man, isn't it? Player performances. Who stood out? Robert Sanchez, 7 out of 10. Remember when some folks were questioning whether Sanchez should be our number one? Well, this performance might have silenced some critics. Those saves against Watkins were crucial, and his distribution looked solid throughout. It's great to see him growing in confidence, isn't it? Moises Caicedo, 7 out of 10. How about Caicedo starting at right back but basically playing everywhere? The £115 million man showed why he's worth every penny, controlling the midfield and breaking up Villa's attacks. His passing was spot on too. Are we finally seeing the best of him in blue? Levi Colwill, 8.5 slash 10. Is Colwill becoming one of the Premier League's best centre-backs before our eyes? Despite a slightly shaky start, he grew into the game and made some crucial blocks in the second half. The academy graduate is really making that position his own, don't you think? Cole Palmer, 8.5 slash 10. What more can we say about Palmer? An assist for Enzo's goal and then that stunning strike to make it 3-0, He's becoming Mr. Reliable for us. Remember when some questioned his transfer fee? Those doubters have gone pretty quiet now, haven't they? Enzo Fernandez, 8 out of 10, two goals in two Premier League games now for Enzo. That outside of the foot finish was something else, wasn't it? He looks so much more comfortable on the left side of midfield, and those goal contributions are finally coming. Is this the Enzo we've been waiting for? Nicholas Jackson, 7 out of 10. Eight goals for the season now for Jackson. Yes, he could have had more on the day, but that finish for the opener was clinical. The Stamford Bridge faithful clearly appreciated his effort. How good was that ovation when he came off? The substitute's impact. The bench showed our squad depth, with Badiashile coming on to help secure the clean sheet after Fofana's injury. Nkunku and Maduk had their chances too. Imagine when they're fully firing. Speaking of Nkunku, how excited are you to see him get more minutes as he builds up his fitness? This performance raises some exciting questions for Chelsea fans. Could we really be dark horses for the title? Is this the most balanced our midfield has looked all season? How high can Cole Palmer go? Is he our most important player right now? Will Jackson keep improving and become the striker we've been searching for? What's really encouraging is how different parts of the team are coming together. The defense looked solid the midfield controlled the game, and our attack showed real teeth. This is what we've been waiting for, right? The football's becoming more fluid, players are understanding their roles better, and results are following. Fan Corner, what did you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts, Shed End Faithful. Which performance impressed you the most? What was your favorite moment from the match? How far do you think this team can go this season? What areas do you think we still need to improve? With performances like this, it's hard not to get excited about what's coming next. The team's playing with confidence, our big signings are delivering, and there's a real sense that something special might be building at the bridge. 
The midfield magic. One thing that really stood out was how well our midfield controlled the game. With Enzo Fernandez wearing the captain's armband, there was this sense of confidence in how we moved the ball. Remember those days when we struggled to control games? This felt different. The second goal really showed what this team can do when everything clicks. Have you seen how well Palmer and Fernandez are linking up? That combination play for the second goal was like watching two players who've been playing together for years, not months. Enzo's finish was pure class, using the outside of his boot to find the bottom corner. When was the last time you saw such a technically perfect goal at the bridge? Palmer, the new fan favorite. Let's talk about Cole Palmer for a moment. How good is this guy? That third goal was something special. Picture this. Just when Villa thought they might get back into the game, Palmer picks up the ball outside the box, creates a bit of space, and curls one right into the top corner. Robin Olsen had no chance. Are we watching the emergence of our next superstar? The defensive masterclass. While everyone's talking about the goals, can we take a moment to appreciate our defense? Robert Sanchez had that brilliant save against Ollie Watkins when the game was still tight. And did you see Levi Colwill clearing that header off the line? These are the moments that win you games. Here's an interesting question for all the tactical minds out there. What did you think about Moises Caicedo playing at right back? It was an unexpected move, but it worked brilliantly, didn't it? He kept switching between defense and midfield, making it really hard for Villa to figure out how to press us. Villa's struggles. You've got to feel a bit for Villa fans. Eight games without a win is tough for any team. Remember when they were flying high earlier in the season? Football can change so quickly. The moment Martinez had to go off injured at halftime, you could see their confidence drop even further. What do you think they need to do to turn things around? Now, here's the exciting part. This win put us level on points with Arsenal, though they're technically ahead on away goals in our head-to-head. -head. With the way we're playing, do you think we can push for those Champions League spots? The football we're playing certainly suggests we can. The Stamford Bridge atmosphere. How good was the atmosphere today? The bridge was rocking from the first whistle to the last, and don't you think it makes a massive difference when our home ground becomes a fortress again? The way the fans got behind Jackson, even when he missed chances, that's what Chelsea support is all about. Questions for the Chelsea Shed End supporters. 1. What did you make of Palmer's performance today? Is he becoming our most important player? 2. Shouldn't Kunku start the next game after what we saw today? 3. Are we seeing the real Nicholas Jackson now? 4. How far do you think this team can go this season? Areas for improvement. Even in such a dominant win, there are always things to work on. We could have scored more goals given the chances we created. Jackson, despite his goal, will want to be more clinical. The team also had a few shaky moments at the back early on, particularly when Watkins got through on goal. But these are minor points in what was otherwise a complete performance. What a way to spend a Sunday afternoon at the bridge. This wasn't just a win, it was a statement of intent. From Jackson's early goal to Palmer's late stunner, this was Chelsea showing exactly what we're capable of. The challenge now is to maintain this level of performance. We've got some crucial games coming up. Southampton in the league on Wednesday, then that massive London derby against Spurs on Sunday. The team's playing with confidence, but these games will really test our momentum. Question for you all, what's our strongest lineup for these upcoming games? Should we stick with the same team that beat Villa, or do we need to rotate considering the busy schedule? A message to the fans. To all the fans who were at the bridge, you created an amazing atmosphere. To those watching from around the world, wasn't this the kind of performance we've been waiting for? The big question now is, can we maintain this form? The signs are promising. The team's playing with confidence, we're scoring goals, and most importantly, we're looking solid at the back. This wasn't just a win, it was a statement. Three brilliant goals, a clean sheet, and the kind of dominant performance that reminds everyone what Chelsea Football Club is all about. We're seeing a team that's growing in confidence with each game. What excites you most about this team right now? Is it the fluid attacking play? The solid defense? Or maybe it's the emergence of players like Palmer and Jackson as key figures in the team. Let's keep this momentum going. The bridge is becoming a fortress again, and with performances like this, who knows what we could achieve this season.
What's your favorite moment from the game? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear what fellow Blues think about this performance and what it means for our season ahead. Remember when people were writing us off at the start of the season? Well, this team is showing that you should never doubt the fighting spirit of Chelsea Football Club. With players like Palmer, Enzo, and Colwill performing at this level, and others like Nkunku still to fully integrate into the team, the future's looking bright in West London. What did you think of the game? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's keep this conversation going. Up the chills. Keep the blue flag flying high. See you all for the Southampton game. Same passion, same support, same Chelsea.